In response to the ongoing threat of airstrikes launched by Iran and its numerous proxy forces, Israel has voiced a strong interest in obtaining China's state-of-the-art laser air defense system. This system would be a valuable addition to Israel's current defense infrastructure, particularly as a complement to the Iron Dome, which is effective but faces limitations due to its reliance on a finite supply of ammunition. The advanced technology of the laser defense system could help address some of these limitations. However, Israel's interest was not met with enthusiasm from China. In fact, China outright refused to provide this technology to Israel. The reasoning behind this could be linked to Israel's close alliance with the United States, which might make China wary. China likely fears that if Israel gains access to this advanced system, it could potentially share sensitive information about how it operates with the U.S., giving their rival a strategic advantage. Meanwhile, a surprising scene unfolded in Iran during a public address given by the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, in one of the Iranian provinces. Observers and analysts were startled to notice that several laser-based air defense systems were stationed conspicuously around the building where Khamenei was delivering his speech. This unusual security measure seemed to be a precaution taken by the IRGC, Iran's elite military force, to ensure the protection of their supreme leader from any aerial threats, particularly those from Israel which has been escalating tensions in the region. But it wasn't just the sight of these defense systems that shocked analysts. What really left them astonished was the suspicion that China might have secretly supplied or even sold this laser air defense technology to Iran. This comes as a surprise since China had previously declined to provide the very same technology to Israel. This raises a bigger question. Is China beginning to involve itself more deeply in the growing conflict within the Middle East, choosing sides in a way that could further destabilize the region? Experts who have analyzed the air defense systems seen around the site of Khamenei's speech suspect that these systems are likely silent hunter units. Silent Hunter is a highly advanced laser weapon developed in China, specifically designed to target and neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones. It operates using a powerful fiber optic laser system that is electrically powered, capable of generating between 30 and 100 kilowatts of energy. This makes it a formidable tool in modern air defense. At its peak capacity, Silent Hunter can effectively engage targets up to four kilometers away. What makes it even more impressive is its ability to not only track and destroy low-flying drones, but also penetrate hardened materials. For instance, it can slice through five steel plates, each two millimeters thick, at a range of 800 meters, or a single steel plate measuring five millimeters thick at a distance of 1,000 meters. This kind of capability demonstrates how powerful and versatile the system truly is. However, analysts are hesitant to definitively conclude that the laser air defense system used by Iran is the silent hunter. Some experts speculate that the system in question could actually be the Shennong 3000. It's important to note that the Shennong, also developed in China, is capable of identifying unmanned aerial vehicles from a distance of up to five kilometers. Despite this impressive range, when compared side by side with the Silent Hunter, the Shennong 3000 doesn't seem nearly as powerful. Its power output is recorded at only 10 to 20 kilowatts, 
far below the silent hunter's capabilities. Nevertheless, the Shen Nung is still reported to be effective at destroying incoming objects within a radius of 1.5 kilometers. While not as potent, it still poses a significant threat within that limited range. That being said, the public continues to seek concrete evidence about whether China has actually sent this weaponry to Iran. Many countries remain extremely cautious when it comes to the export and import of military weapons to Iran due to ongoing international tensions and sanctions. China, in particular, is likely wary of damaging its standing with international organizations by openly violating arms embargoes or sanctions. Some experts even argue that it would be highly unlikely for a country led by Xi Jinping to risk its global reputation by supplying advanced military equipment directly to Iran. So how could this situation have come about? Many experts also believe that the laser air defense system in question could very well be a domestically produced Iranian model. However, that doesn't necessarily mean it was entirely designed by Iran from scratch. Some speculate that, in order to navigate the sanctions imposed on military trade with Iran, China and Iran may have engaged in what's known as technology transfer. This process allows a country to acquire the knowledge and skills to produce military systems based on another country's designs. A prime example of this is Iran's Hertz-9 air defense system, which is believed to be based on China's HQ-7 system. Therefore, it's highly possible that the laser air defense system currently in use by Iran could be the result of a technology transfer from China later modified and developed further by Iranian engineers. On the other hand, several sources have indicated that since 2020, China has been secretly selling weapons and military technology to Iran. This move comes in response to Iran's critical need to upgrade and modernize its aging military equipment across various sectors of its armed forces. Iran is taking this modernization effort very seriously, having allocated a substantial budget of $8 billion to overhaul its defense capabilities. This significant financial commitment has made China eager to meet Iran's demand for more sophisticated and up-to-date military hardware and technology. As a result, China quickly moved to offer a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles, which were subsequently handed over by the IRGC to various Iranian proxy groups operating in countries like Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and even Yemen. It's no surprise then that many of the drones used by these Iranian-backed groups have a striking resemblance to Chinese manufactured drones. Moreover, in March 2021, Beijing and Tehran took their cooperation a step further by signing a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement. This deal calls for strengthening political, economic, and military ties between the two nations, positioning China as a key strategic ally for Iran, especially in the realm of defense and military affairs. This 25-year agreement not only focuses on boosting economic opportunities, but also aims to lift the arms embargo on Iran, allowing for greater access to military supplies and weapons. Furthermore, it opens the door for China to continue supplying advanced weaponry to Iran over the long term. In addition to this, Tehran has shown a keen interest in purchasing China's Chengdu J-10 fighter jets. The Chengdu J-10 is a versatile, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft that is claimed to reach a top speed of Mach 1.8, which is around 2,200 kilometers per hour. Its appeal doesn't end there. 
the fighter jet also boasts an impressive operational range of up to 4,600 kilometers. Coupled with its wide array of weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and various types of bombs, it's easy to see why Iran is so eager to acquire this fighter jet to bolster its air force and enhance its overall military capabilities. Fortunately for Iran, China has reportedly confirmed its willingness to sell the Chengdu J-10C fighter jets to the country. In addition to the J-10C, China has also offered Iran the option of purchasing the FC-1 Xiaolong fighter jets. However, according to some sources, Iran would need to spend anywhere between 40 to 65 million US dollars for each J-10 fighter jet. Given Iran's current economic struggles, it has been suggested that the country plans to pay for these jets using its vast oil reserves as an alternative to cash. It's becoming increasingly clear that China is playing a role in the Middle East similar to that of Russia. Both China and Russia have emerged as strategic allies of Iran in recent times primarily because all three nations share a common adversary, the United States. This mutual opposition to the U.S. has prompted China to provide support for Iran's military needs, particularly in terms of weapons systems. Recently, Beijing even announced its intention to stand by Tehran as the conflict in the Middle East continues to escalate. Although China has not explicitly detailed what kind of support it will offer, Iran is likely to leverage this partnership in its efforts to counter Israel. Furthermore, China has not shied away from demonstrating its support for Iran in other contentious areas. Not long ago, China expressed its backing of Iran in the aftermath of the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniya in Tehran. Wang Yi, China's foreign minister, strongly condemned the killing, which took place on July 31st, stating that it violated Iran's sovereignty and jeopardized the stability of the entire region. This response underscores just how much attention China is paying to Iran's interests. In addition, China's foreign minister emphasized that the attack in Tehran directly undermined the ongoing ceasefire negotiations related to Gaza, while also damaging regional peace and stability. In light of this, China reaffirmed its support for Iran in defending its sovereignty, national security, and dignity in accordance with international law. Moreover, China expressed its commitment to assisting Iran in maintaining regional peace and stability. But is China's support limited to these diplomatic statements? Certainly not. Because on September 23rd to 24th, China's Special Envoy for Middle Eastern Affairs, Jai Jun, visited Tehran at the invitation of the Iranian government. During this visit, the two sides did much more than just exchange views on China-Iran relations and the current situation in the Middle East. The visit also paved the way for China to collaborate more closely with Iran, as both nations seek to further deepen their comprehensive strategic partnership. Jai Jun emphasized that Beijing is ready to strengthen communication and coordination with Iran on regional matters aiming to promote comprehensive and fair solutions to pressing issues in the region. Through this cooperation, China hopes to achieve greater peace, stability, and development across the Middle East.